Hello, my friends, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make bows using mesh ribbon. And in my porch decorate video, I had asked the question if people would be interested in seeing how I make them because I use them outside. I love this ribbon and a lot of you said, yes, you would like to see how to use this ribbon to make bows. So that's what I'm going to do today. So without any further ado, let's get to making some bows using mesh ribbon. So you can find this ribbon pretty well anywhere right now. The best deal though is at Costco. You can get two rolls of this for $8.99. Unfortunately, they only have them at Christmas time, but if that's when you wanna use them, I would suggest you run over to Costco and pick yourself up some. They usually have a lot of different colors and they're the best deal at Christmas time. Michaels also carry them. I've seen them there. And even the dollar stores are starting to carry them now. And they come in all different lengths and widths. So you can pretty well find these anywhere. So what you're going to need is this mesh ribbon, some wire, or I have used pipe cleaners before and I've used um, zip ties and some wire cutters if you're using wire and some scissors and that's it. And this stuff is so forgiving and so easy to use. You'll see how easy it is. Now, just like making any bow, best uh, practice is to get prepared right before so that you're not scrambling as you're trying to hold the bow. So I always cut, if I'm using my wire, I always cut my wire probably about, I don't know, 18 inches or so. I always cut way too much, but it's better to be safe than sorry, because you're gonna have to wrap this around. And the other tip that I can give you is, before you start, even after you've cut your, your wire, is to fold it in half, and this will just make it much easier to put through the center of the ribbon. So I always get that prepared before I go. If I'm using a pipe cleaner, I do exactly the same thing. I just fold it in half. And of course, a zip tie, you don't have to do that, but that's what I do is I just prepare it before I start my bow. Now to make these bows, the easiest way I have found is just to let it drop onto the floor and let it and gather up a whole bunch of um, mesh, get it loose and ready to go. So the next thing that you want to do is decide how big you want your bow. So when I did my bow on my planter that's outside and I will insert a picture of it here, I knew I wanted it big. So I decided to do two loops on each side of the center, but I wanted the loops fairly big. Now for the garland that I put up outside, I didn't want them that big. So I only did one loop on each side, but they still look nice and full. So let's get making our bow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to decide, I don't make long tails with this. You can have your tails as long as you want or as short. I probably go down almost about 12 inches. And then you just gather the ribbon from side to side. And there's a tail. Now, as you can see, the, e the best advice I can give you when working with this ribbon is let it do its thing. It's got a mind of its own and it's going to shape the way it wants to shape. If you fight it too much, you'll just get frustrated. So I tend to just let it do what it wants to do. So I have gathered up my tail. Then I'm just going to slide my hand down the ribbon. probably about another 18 inches or so, depending on the size I want. And then I just take this and I fold it under. And you can see how the mesh just automatically makes that loop. And from there, I change hands and I do the same, try to gear it and gather it into the middle. And you can already see what a pretty bow that is. Now, if I decided that this side was not long enough, I just pull it from behind and I've got loops about the same size. Now, this is about the size that I used outside on my garland. I did two nice loops and you can see how this ribbon just does its own thing and makes it, you can play with it a lot 
to get it where you like but I usually just let it do its thing. And the next thing I would do is just take my wire. Wrap it around the middle. This is why I like zip ties. I don't usually use wire on this. Take it, pull it as tight as you can and give it a good twist. And you notice I haven't cut it yet, just in case. And then I leave some wire out so that I can attach it to either my tree, my garland, a railing or whatever. And then I would just cut the tail. doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes I gather it up. So it makes it easier to cut. And there's your bow. Oops, upside down. And then you can just play with it, twist it, make it work. I think this is probably the front. I would pull that tail around, but you can see how easy it is to make bows. They just kind of, just let this ribbon do its own thing. It's just so beautiful by itself. It just wants to do what it wants to do. And sometimes those are the best bows that come with this. All the happy smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing is there Now the other thing that this ribbon is really great for is doing a garland on your tree and again it's very simple just let it draw and let the ribbon do its own thing I am not going to be using this on my tree. I like the bow at the top, but this is just to show you how easy it is. So I just gather up the end and you're just gonna stick it back into the tree and just use one of the branches to attach it. And then again, you just let the ribbon do what it wants to do and just gather down however big you want the loops, how, if you want it, I like it to go diagonal. I don't like big loops when I do my garland and just all the way down the same thing. It's the same thing as doing a ribbon on your tree, but that's all I'm doing is just letting the ribbon, gathering it up. You can play with it afterwards, tucking it in and you can see how beautiful that looks on your tree. I've done this on my tree many times. I've done it in garland on my uh, fireplace. I love it. And now that I see it, I think I might be doing this again. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this tutorial on how to use this beautiful mesh ribbon was helpful and you'll give it a try. Let me know in the comments bo below if you think you'll be trying this, uh, using this type of ribbon. I absolutely love it, especially at Christmas time. I think it's just stunning on trees and garlands. Outside, it wears really well outside, so I highly recommend that. If you're doing garland outside or a plant or whatever, it does very well outside. But thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll think about giving it a thumbs up or sharing it with somebody that you think would enjoy it. And if you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe and join me each week as I share more home decor lifestyle videos. I so enjoy this and I really appreciate everybody who has joined and who watches. I just, I, I just so appreciate everybody. So thanks so much, everyone. I hope you have a great week and happy decorating. Thing that you're missing, I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind.